class. It is um, Monday of World History class and um, this is a different way of meeting than what we would normally do and since it's your first day back I wanted to spend this time reviewing a little bit and um, kind of diving into what the rest of the chapter will look like for the rest of the week and just kind of some new things that's being that'll be going on um, that you guys haven't had necessarily yet so um, we're going to do that today, and I'm going to go ahead and just like every other day of class, like we would normally have, A, I have, hold on me, get this here, A, I have, ooh, I thought I spilled it, um, A, I have my coffee, and maybe, you know, you coffee drinkers in the class, you can pour yourself some coffee, and just kind of, you know, drink your coffee while you watch this, and take notes, or whatever, and um, I'm just sitting on my couch, and we're just kind of going to have a class here and we're just going to do it that way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pray for us and we'll get started. Okay guys. So please just take this minute and do our normal deal and just pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day and thank you for my students and um, I pray that they're staying healthy and safe and that they can learn and adapt to this new type of learning environment and um, I just pray that you're keeping them happy, um, even though they don't get to see their friends as much. And um, I pray that you'd just wrap your arms around them during this time and bring them comfort and that they um, dive into to you and who you are and that they remember that you are good even when there is crazy and bad going on around us. And please put a stop to the coronavirus and heal those who have it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, um, that's been my continual prayer throughout this whole every class we you know I you know how I am when we pray every class and every class that I've recorded um, I pray continually that you know there's a stop to the coronavirus and I, I'm hoping that you guys are praying that too that that's a typical prayer that you guys are having so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tell you guys so if you did not see the email yet um, the email basically says that you guys are gonna have a reading and film log so you guys know that typically at the end of the chapter what we've been doing is you would turn in your notes plus a summary at the end of the chapter. Well, and before that, you did vocabulary words at the end of the chapter. Well, since we can't be in person for right now, and I want to make sure that you're still really engaging with material, I'm going to have you guys keep a reading and film log. And so that's in the email. And basically, when I when you assign, when I assign pages for you guys to read, you're going to put those in there, and I'm sending you guys videos because you know how I am. I like to pull videos up part of my calm communications thing. I just really like that. That's how I roll. So today we're going to review John Locke and um, Montesquieu and, um, and Vol Voltaire mainly. Um, so we know that, let's see if I can, let's see if I can grab you guys know with me and my whiteboard how this typically goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, write some notes on here because you guys know me in the notes. Remember, John Locke really believed that people were um, would naturally know how to follow the order that things should, should really be like in the government. And he really believed that the government should have the consent of those who govern. Um, so, of those that they govern. So they believed like if we would be able to say that we agree or disagree with like what Trump decides um, for example he believed that children John Locke believed that children were born like with a clean slate that yeah people he did know how to be good but they also had to we had to teach them I remember I told you the story of the little girl that she um, didn't want to share her blocks in pre-k so she like took the block and she whacked the girl upside the head with it and all the class laughed and the teacher had a teacher like, hey, that's not how you handle not wanting people to take your blocks. So um, maybe that'll jar your memory of who that is. Sorry, I'm writing notes and then I'll be like right back with you. Um, 
All right, so, and then I'll hold up this little board here. So John Locke, he um, did believe that there was a clean slate, but he also believed that people had this natural ability to know how to follow laws. Um, but that you also had to teach people, like they had it in them to know, but you had to like kind of guide them along to, to um, make them be able to know what to do with it. And Montesquieu created the three branches of government. So in our three branches of government, there's the judicial, the legislative, and the executive, which remember the executive has the, our um, commander in chief. And so that would be like the president in, in America. And um, the judicial judges the law. So that's like the Supreme Court. And then the legislative is like the House and the Senate and they make the laws. So, um, and then the volunteer, the Voltaire, he um, was a part of the French noble that did not like um, the group that he was a part of. He was noble, but he didn't really like how they were. So, and remember we pulled up the twilight scene actually to, to remember that he, that the vampire was a part of that group, but he didn't really um, like how they were acting. And his name was the Voltaire. So. So that was a good way to try to remember it. So today you guys are going to do chapter 15, activity 1. And chapter 15, activity 3. That's what you're going to do today. So I also sent you guys um, your reading materials for the day, like what you're supposed to be reading, what pages. And today you're going to be reading pages 324, I'll write it on here, 324 and 325. So not a whole lot. Today was mainly a review because it's been a while since we've been together and um, since we've discussed this. So 324 to 325. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. And we will be meeting on Zoom, and I'm going to send out an email of the schedule of that and what that'll look like. So um, I look forward to being able to talk to you guys face to face, kind of on, you know, through the technology. And um, I'm thankful that we can talk again, and I miss you guys. And um, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee before I let you guys go here. Um, and. I hope that you guys are staying happy and healthy, and um, I can't wait to catch up with you soon. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Also, I will be in this same shirt in, like, every video. So, I videotaped them before, like, previously. So, I just, I wore the same shirt in every video. I do have other clothes. I do wash my clothes, but I'll be in this Baylor University shirt for every, um, yeah, every video. So, all right, guys, see you guys soon.